Yo. 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 It's dead in this town. You know? It's crazy. Gotta shake things up. Yo. For real. Let's go. Quiet night. There is no sound. Who needs a light? With no fun around. All right. Hey, Truth. It's Mr. True Redbone. I'm sitting in the core on break. And I just wanted to come through um, and talk about uh, Strong Mommy Chrissy, um, the video I just saw, um, and it's titled, He Left Us Again. My heart goes out to her. Um, she was very, very emotional uh, while making this vlog. Um one thing I can, one thing that I've always said about strong mommy Chrissy is that girl is a go-getter. Um, she handles her business when it comes. Yeah, she got a bunch of kids. She got eight kids, but guess what? She handled her business and by any means possible, if you, by any means possible, I'm going to take care of my kids. So I got to say that um, hats off. She definitely take care of her kids. Can't nobody ever say anything less about that. She about her money. She is. She is very about her money. She has a great head on her shoulders when it comes to um, hustle. When it comes to hustling. Basically, that's what it is. She's a natural born hustler. But seeing her so emotional and heartbreak like this broken like that that hurts we've all been i guess well i i want to say majority of us have all been through a breakup um a heartbreak someone leaving that is the worst feeling in the world abandonment somebody leaving especially when i need you the most to just walk out the door with no problem leave me here holding the bag you know what i'm saying that is i almost couldn't even make it through the whole video because i'm one of them people when i see them when i see you cry i'm gonna cry it was just really emotional she was emotional um she said she was she she's going through it really hard um i'm i got a beautiful um what do they call it of the city? The the trees. I'll show y'all before we done. But that's what I keep looking at too. Um, uh, what was I going to say? So he gone again. Um, she said he's not coming. She's not letting him come back. Uh... It started because I guess they had like a uh, argument over the phone. And you know, when we angry, we, a lot of people say things that they don't actually mean, or they say things to get a rise out of you, or they say things to get it in your head that they need you to step up, you know? So they must have had an argument over the phone and she told him, you know, basically, um, you know, just leave, go back to Texas or whatever. You know, she said there was a lack of communication, no communication. She said they could talk and, you know, play about a lot of things. But when it came to issues, no resolution, like nothing, nothing got resolved. Um, and, and to a lot of us outside looking in, whenever you would see him, he always looked down like he was not in a happy place. He looked really just not happy. And having someone around you that's depressed or not happy about where they are, whether they verbally speak it to you or tell you about it you can tell and it, it causes so much tension in a home that affects both the person the significant other and the children yeah it, it hasn't been spoken but that tension exudes from your body 
you give off unhappiness. Your body just radiates it. So she probably better off without him not being around because she she can handle it by herself. We've seen it, no doubt about it. And is it worth her being worked up and stressed out over time because she's trying to make this person happy when she got to worry about nine kids and then herself? That's not fair. That's not fair. She said how it's crazy how men can just jump up and leave when they want to. That's a fact. That's fact. They can. They really can. They can. They can decide and at, at a drop of a dime that hey, I don't want to do this no more. But guess what? We still have to maintain no matter what. No matter what. She said that he thinks she's selfish and she thinks he's selfish. Pretty much what she said at, at the end of everything is that. He was looking for a cop out. He was looking for a reason to leave. He wanted her to say something to trigger the action. So that one phone call of y'all having an argument, y'all relationship, y'all will all, you, you're going to argue. That's what relationships, that's what happen relationships. That one relationship where she told him to go back to Texas out of anger mind you he called his mama she said that cracked me up at the towards the end she gonna say why don't you marry your mama (laughs) she said you might as well marry your mama but he some his mama like she said being captain saving ho captain save a ho bought him a ticket to go back to Texas he on the on another occasion i guess i don't know when this all transpired maybe yesterday or the day before whatever she was trying to get the trying to get stuff in order um around the house and he was just helping and she thought that he was you know trying to step it up a notch and help to make everything work he was really just going with the flow until it was time for him to leave He kept it a secret. He sat on his ticket all day long, she said, until it was time for him to go. He kept it a secret. He didn't tell her until the last minute. That is so bogus. That's heartbreaking. Here she is thinking like, okay, he's trying to really work out, work this out for our family, for his wife. But at the end of everything, he sucker punches her not literal not really you know what i'm saying but throw this curveball by saying uh, my mama bought me a ticket i'm leaving and that broke her broke her heart and i can see why you know when you're pregnant period your emotional is at anything you're you can look at something and bust out crying so just imagine having to to carry the burden of worrying about the, the eight kids delivery and him not being there. That's not fair. It's not fair. And you could tell that she was she stressed out about it. She said she know that she can handle it by herself, but that's not what she wanted. And she can definitely handle it by herself. She has. I've never doubted that. Like I have always said that strong mommy Chrissy, that's that's a hustler for you, for real. She said, hell, some days, you know, you know how we do as mothers um, or as a single parent, period, mother or father. You know how, you know, or a wife or a husband. Some depend on what ro- role you play, but in some instances, to a fault to unconsciously we put ourselves last of everybody she said i put myself last i it's the eight kids and you know then i would try to make him happy and then me we do it unconsciously it's 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 our motherly instincts to make sure everybody else is straight before our selves
Um, like I said, he just never seemed like a happy person, and I wouldn't want that around me anyways. Negative energy brings me down. I'm telling y'all, I can't, I, I feed off of energy. When, if I walk in the house and something's going on with my husband, he don't have to say a word. I feel it. I feel it to my core. And immediately, my head thinks like, What's, what did I do wrong? What do I need to do? You know what I'm saying? It's just the way I've always thought. What do, I'm a fixer. What do I need to fix? Whatever it is, because the last thing I want is for anybody to be hurt or upset or need something or, you know. So, um, yeah, I just think that was really cold-blooded that you were preparing to leave all day. It was sneaky. That was really sneaky. At least you could have manned up and say that you was, when you took the steps to actually go, you should have said it right then and there. But you just cold-blooded. That was cold-blooded. It really was. She is hurting bad and I think it's going to be like 20 times worse because she is pregnant and he said it he said this bull in front of June bug she said June bug I think June bug June bug is like four three or four um he is right before blaze um and he said this right in front of June bug and it hurt her so bad um and now she's trying to figure out in her head, how do I go tell the kids that he's once again leaving? She said Junebug was his biggest fan. And you, y'all, as parents, know that you never want anybody to hurt your kids' feelings. And he did it right there in front of the baby. She said they both sat down and talked once he revealed that he was leaving. They both sat down and talked for about two hours. And the, the end result was that she still he still was going to leave. And she was like, well, do you plan on coming back or something of that effect? And he said, yeah, you know, probably around when the baby is born or with something. Well, how fucking convenient is that? You get to go live your life while I'm still here parenting see, by myself, but I'm a married woman. You know what I'm saying? You get to conveniently leave because you feel pressured and stress of everyday life. Really? We supposed to be doing this together. But she she probably will be better off without him. She can do, she don't need that stress on her. That's like having a whole nother kid. You have to worry about all their emotions. You, yeah, she probably better off without them, y'all. She does great by herself. She really does. Mm, mm, mm. what she say um men treat you y'all have heard this before men will only treat you the way that you allow them to treat you so she definitely needs to put her foot down now and show him that you missed out buddy ain't no more coming back i i gave you every opportunity to make up the last time the three months ago when you left I gave you every opportunity to resolve whatever issues it was so that we can make this marriage work. But yet, you still, at the most convenient time for you, the worst time for me, decide that you want to bail. She says she's not having it. Not having it. So, y'all, if y'all know that hurt, when y'all see that video about Strong Mommy Chrissy, if you know that, that kind of pain of someone leaving, as soon as you see her having this conversation, that, that emotion or that anger will rise up again in you. 
like it's half like you feel how she feel because you've been through it so you never forget that pain you never forget that hurt you never forget when somebody abandons you and and leaves you when you thinking hey we finna work this out everything gonna be good i'm gonna have my family you know what i'm saying it's hard i feel I, i'm just gonna say my heart goes out to strong mommy Chrissy this was not to bash her or anything this is woman to woman um you are a strong woman that I've observed um yeah I have done videos about you about you know one-off things here and there but overall I've always said that you are a great provider um and you do not need that negative energy around you weighing you down stressing you out so it's probably best that he did leave um when i saw your video i did say a prayer for you because my heart my heart was heavy because of one you're eight months pregnant and emotional and two having to even go through this once again be strong because you are a strong woman you got to be a strong woman to be able to provide and take care of eight kids hell i got five and the struggle is real <laughs> but um yes you got this you got this just i hope that you can get over it swiftly because that's the worst part is trying to get over a breakup especially in your time of need when you needed your significant other to have your back that's all i'm gonna say y'all um i need you guys to like comment subscribe and share tell your mama daddy sister brother auntie uncle to come by here and see miss true redbone don't let the door hit you with a good lord split you and i'm not a secret y'all y'all have a blessed day Enjoy every day, you guys, as much as you can. It's beautiful.